I'm Anil Kumar. We have some practice questions on multiple choice. We have already learned the concept about linearization or finding approximate value of a function close to the given point by tangent line approximation, right? So basically, uh, in this method, we use the equation of the tangent line, which could be given as y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 rearranged to get y equals to y1 plus m times x minus x1. In function notation, we will normally write this as f of x as equals to y1 uh, at a given point. So let us say this is f of a. Derivative will be derivative at given point a, uh, x minus a, if x1 is equals to a, right? So if x1 equals to a, in that case, that is kind of question, right? So that is the base to solve this question. Now let us see what choice matches with the given position. So we have find the linearization of f of x equals to square root of x squared plus 9 at x equals to 4. So whenever you're given a function like this, uh, what we should do here is find the value at 4. It is minus 4, right? x squared plus 9. So, so let's find what is the value of this function at minus 4. So that gives us minus 4 squared plus 9. And that is equals to square root of 16 plus 9, which is, which is equals to square root of 25, which is 5, right? So, so we get the value of the function at 5. So in this formula, we have the fa and a, right? These two values are known to us. So we say a equals to minus 4, and the value at a is 5, right? This is what we just calculated. Now we need to find the derivative. So f dash x is equals to derivative of this will be uh, square root of x square plus 9, right? So times 2x in the numerator. So that's the derivative. Now the value of this slope of the tangent line at x equals to minus 4 will be, we'll substitute minus 4 here. So we get 2 times minus 4 over to square root of, uh, I should write minus 4, okay, uh, minus 4 square, we know 16 plus 9, correct? And that gives us 2 and 2 cancels, so we have minus 4 over, and this is 5, right? So we get the derivative at this point, right? So, so we have all the required information to write down the linearization approximation. So L of x is equal to f a, which is 5, plus the derivative, which is minus 4 over 5, times x minus a. So x in our case is, well, it is general point, so it will be x minus a. A is minus 4, so that becomes plus 4, right? So, so we get our formula. So we can say, let me write down here, right? So we have L of x equals to 5 minus, because the slope is negative, 4 over 5, x minus minus becomes plus 4, so we write plus 4 here, right? So that becomes our formula. So let's match which one works for us. 5 minus 4 over that is the one. So C is the right answer for us, correct? So I hope you understand the concept and that is how we actually find the equation which can help you to approximate the values close to x equals to minus 4 in this particular case. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.